Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary, if this is your first time here, hello and welcome. I make videos tracking my debt-free journey. Um, before we begin, I just wanted to quickly send my prayers out to all of you guys. I hope that you guys are healthy and safe, and I hope your family and friends are also healthy and safe. Of course, we are still in the middle of all of this corona stuff, but I am just sending my prayers out and just hoping that everyone is doing okay. So today we are gonna do my paycheck from last week, which was Wednesday, paycheck from 318. And we are budgeting for the week of um, last Wednesday, the 18th to the 27th. So what I like to do if you guys are new here is I like to just write down how much I am working with. So this is currently what we have in the bank. And then I will write down all of my bills and expenses and do my sinking funds at the bottom, but you guys will see it as I go. So let's just jump right into it. So under bills and expenses, for this week we have FPL, and that's gonna be $54. Then we have Tides, which is $73. Um, the house gas, which is $40. Then we have the water bill. That's going to be 83. Then we have Disney plus. I love Disney plus and my son loves it too. <laughs> That's going to be $7. Uh, groceries. So groceries is going to be zero only because um, obviously with what's going on, we doubled up on groceries last week. I didn't go crazy and buy like a whole bunch of food, but I did try to stock up on just like chicken and beef and just stuff to kind of like, just protein and stuff to cook. Um, and mainly just to avoid going to the grocery store. Um, we still currently do have to go to work. We can't work from home. And by the time we get out, it's late and the grocery stores are just packed and crazy and I'm trying to I'm trying to avoid being in big crowds and also to even have the time because of course the stores are closing sooner now um, so we pretty much spent a lot not a lot more but just kind of extra and that should get us by for at least two and a half weeks maybe. So hopefully I will meal plan well so that I can avoid going to the grocery store for as long as I can. But because of all of that, that was a long explanation, sorry. But because of all of that, I'm not really taking out money um, this time because we already have all our groceries. So it was the money from like last paycheck that we just kind of like overdid it and stuff. But. Anyway, so grocery gets a zero. And then we have car gas. That is 40. And then rent is 100. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, because what I like to do before I write all this down is I kinda do like, I do a quick, um, run through of how my budgeting is gonna go. And then this is just to kind of organize it and put it in a better clean layout for me to see all of my scribble scrabble that I did. Um, so anyway, so what I ended up seeing was I was gonna have money left over and I was gonna divide it into my sinking funds, but I wasn't gonna be able to afford to put it into all of my sinking funds. So what I did and what I'm gonna show you, if I can find my calculator, okay. So, like I said, this is our current balance in the bank. And these are all of my priority, right? So these are all the bills and expenses that I absolutely have to do. My sinking funds, at least for me, my sinking funds are all pretty like optional. And I guess, what would you say? Like those are things that I can kind of move around and um, contribute whenever I can. So with that being said, I'm just gonna add these up. Or actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my total, 552, zero, seven, nope, 552.07, and I'm gonna start subtracting 
all of my bills. Minus 73, 40, minus 83, minus seven, minus 40, minus 100. Okay, so that leaves me with 155 with seven cents. So I'm just gonna put here, um, left is 155.07. So that's just for me to know this is how much I have left after all of my bills have been paid for. So that means that I have $155 to work with to divide into my sinking funds. So because my paychecks change, they're not always the same and things always kind of end up popping up. Um, as you can, if you can tell from all of my prior videos, um, our starting balance isn't always the same because our paychecks just aren't always the same. So usually what I have to do is I have to first pay what I have to pay and then I will see how much I have left. From this number, I will see what I can put into my sinking funds because there are weeks that I can put money into them and there's other weeks that I cannot. So what I'm gonna do, now that I know what I'm working with for my sinking funds, I'm gonna write down all of the sinking funds that I currently have. So we're gonna start off with Christmas. And then money for me, this is spending money. Uh, my husband gets his spending money. And then fun day. Uh, my son fits. Then date night. Then we have medical, toiletries, and gifts, which gifts actually used to be birthdays, um, but someone on my last video commented, because I had mentioned that I wanted to see how I can make my birthdays also into just gifts for like Mother's Day, Father's Day, um, maybe uh, like my parents' anniversary, I usually like to give them a little something, so I wanted a name for that, and I don't know why I didn't think about it, but one of my subscribers did, so thank you very much, and she gave me the idea to just name it Gifts, which is very simple, but I couldn't think of what to name it. So um, what used to be birthdays is now my gifts. Okay, so those are all of my sinking funds. So now what I decided to do was take out 150. Um, so I will leave, I will have $5 left in the bank, but I'm taking out 150 from what's left and I'm going to prioritize it now. So now I'm gonna decide which sinking fund I want to put money in because I know I'm not gonna be able to put money in all of them. So with that being said, uh, Christmas is still a big priority for us. Again, worst comes to worst um, because of everything that's going on. Um, I know we have money in our Christmas fund and other sinking funds, so if we do need a little bit extra money besides our emergency fund that we already have in place, um, I can always go back to this one because Christmas is currently um, my envelope that I have the most money in. But anyway, I still want to keep putting money into it because, you know, things are hopefully going to get better. So I don't want to stray away from putting money into Christmas because I still want to make sure I have it there for the end of the year. But again, if something happens and we can't and we need extra money, I can always still take it out of this envelope. Okay, so Christmas is going to get $50. I keep hitting my, <laughs> my mug. I have hazelnut coffee today because I wanted a... I wanted all the good feelings and hazelnut tastes really good and it smells so good. So Christmas is gonna get 50. So then I decided for me and my husband, we were not going to put money in this time because I wanted to put it into other more important things. Um, so fun day, those are like family things that we spend money on. So I definitely wanted to still put money into that. My son, of course, I want him to always have some money if we need to buy him something. Um, date night was not really a priority because obviously we're not really going out anywhere, so that was an easy one. Um, medical is very important because God forbid, 
You want to make sure now more than ever that you have money for any medical expenses. Toiletries, because that is just always something you're going to need to buy. I hope you guys have found toilet paper. I'm just saying, I went to the grocery store and I didn't find any toilet paper, but there were napkins. So if you can't find toilet paper, you can probably find some napkins and use napkins. Just an idea. Okay, and then for gifts, I am gonna put that because it's still gonna be people's birthdays or Mother's Day is coming up and I wanna make sure that we can at least still give our loved ones a little something. Okay, so with that now, my ending balance. is going to be $5.07 and I know that already because it's $1.55 and I took out $1.50 from that to divide it into my sinking funds. Now one more thing that I like to do and I will show you now. Okay so the next thing that I like to do is just highlight all of the expenses or sinking funds that I am going to withdraw from the bank. So that's not gonna be everything because some are done online. So FPL, I pay online. Um, tides, I do like to pay in cash. Uh, groceries, no. Car gas. Um, rent, I am taking out. That's gonna be 100 that I'm taking out. And then Christmas. Um, Fun day here, that's 20 fits medical, toiletries, and my gifts. Okay, so after everything is highlighted of what I'm going to withdraw from the bank, I am just going to add it up. So let's just go ahead and do that. Okay, so what I have is 363. So that is the amount that I'm going to take out of the bank. So I will just put here withdraw. And that is going to be $363 that I will get out of the bank to pay and put into my sinking funds. Okay, so that is it for my budgeting breakdown. Now we are gonna do the second part and put all of this money that I am going to withdraw into my envelopes. So I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so I have everything here that I need for the actual stuffing of my cash envelope. So I have the money that I took out of the bank, all of my sinking funds, and this is my wallet where I keep my change. So I think that's what I'm gonna do first. I'm just gonna go ahead and empty all of my loose change out and put it into my little coin jar here. So let's go ahead and get started with that. What else? I have a little penny hiding. Okay. So I can get that out of the way. Let's get this out of the way. So now I'm just going to set up my cash. And also what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna set up my sinking funds in order to how I have them here on my um, little budget sheet. And that is thanks to another one of my subscribers. Thank you so much for suggesting this. It just, it really does actually make it easier. So the way I wrote down all of my envelopes that I'm going to stuff is how I'm just going to put my envelopes here in order. That way things just run smoothly. So I just wanted to say thank you for that. And also, um, it's just very helpful when you guys comment and leave little tips and tricks like that down below because that's what I want for all of us to do is be able to come to this channel, leave your ideas, and that's just actually how we learn from each other. So I'm very grateful and thank you for your suggestion. With that being said, I think things are gonna run a little bit more smoother this time. So let's just go ahead and put all of this in order so we can get going.
we are all set and ready to go. So first one is gonna be ties, which is $73. So two, oops, two, 40, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73. So that will go into tides. Let me just, just to make sure it all fits. There we go. And then we have gas next. So that's going to be 40, 20, 40. Then we have rent and rent. I finally made a envelope for rent. Um, I used to have it in this one. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and check this off. So in my last video, I did this just to make sure that I took out $100 to meet my goal of $800 that I wanted to make sure I had to have money there ready for me to pay my rent, which is coming up. So I am glad that that is done. So I have my 800. So it should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus a hundred today. So that is eight. And that is gonna be for rent. And I love this paper. It's actually like double-sided, unlike my other ones. Isn't that so cute? Nice and pink and pretty. Okay, so a hundred. Next one is gonna be Christmas, and Christmas gets $50. So 20, 40, 45, 50. So this is Christmas. And then fun day is gonna be 20. And so far, this is actually going very smooth. I like this. Fits. He gets his 20. And then medical gets 20. Toiletries. 20 and gifts that's gonna be my last one and that is 20 okay so that is it groceries doesn't get anything um, and then me and babe babe has his upstairs um, and then date night doesn't get anything this time around but everything else is done okay so we are all done guys that is it for this video thank you for watching i hope that you were able to get any kind of help from it for your budgeting and that's it thank you guys give it a thumbs up if it helped you or if you enjoyed it and i will see you in my next one bye guys